Yo, live selling. What's happening, people? It's your boy Dre the Reaper, and guys, I'm here getting it done. Another beautiful day, guys. I'm in. I'm here with the most infamous, infamous caravan. Guys, no Drizzy. We're here getting it done. All right, guys. Today we got arm day. We're gonna we're gonna blast. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna blast it. Okay, arms is not like everybody's favorite. I get it because sometimes people are like, man, I gotta sit there and try to get this little pump. And some people don't have great biceps. Some people have great triceps. Everybody have a little mixed feeling about um, arms. But arms, that's your lever. You know what I'm saying? Anything you're gonna do, you gotta use your arms. You know, you can't take your body to do it. You gotta use your arms, your lever, just like your legs. You gotta train them, right? So I usually start off my forearms, biceps, triceps, then go up to this. I used to work from down, up on the arm. But today, I'm gonna skip forearms. They're yeah, all right. But I need, to get, I need to get them bigger anyways, but not today. I'm gonna hit the bicep. I haven't hit my bicep in probably like a good month now. Well, I'm gonna hit my bicep tricep i'm gonna try to emphasize more on the short head of the bicep and the long head of the bicep same thing with the triceps and a little bit of delts i warmed up i use the resistance bands warm my lats rear delts front delts bicep tricep the whole nine it's important to warm up warm those joints really nice and warm out here it's not as hot it's not as hot as it say it was gonna be right yeah it's pretty cool god bless us with some good weather today it's like in the 70s or 80s right now but it's really good weather but guys we down here in south florida we get it done so I'm gonna start off with straight bar curl. Like I said, I did 20 for my first set. Now this is gonna be my second set. And guys, in total, I'm gonna do five sets. I am gonna switch this up, guys, with uh, so some skull crushers. So I'm gonna show you how you guys how that look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, 15 here, 15 here. I'm gonna superset this. And you guys will see it. Keep the elbow in front of your body. So try to keep your elbows in front of your body. I know as you get heavy, and I'm saying you're holding this, you know, it's getting heavy, but what it is, guys, you're able to hit your biceps more effective. When you bring your elbow behind your body, you're taking your bicep out, you're only hitting up getting your bicep a good little pump. That's it. But keep the elbows in front or parallel with the body, right alongside the body, but don't go too behind the body too much, okay? <laughs> So just where your eyes at, it's good to keep your elbows at. If your elbow's too down here, you're not able to flex your long head of your bicep too much. And now you get your shoulders and everything activated. I always try to say keep the elbow almost to eye level. And then you flex up. As you can see my triceps, when I come here, I'm taking away from the triceps. I'm using shoulders and then work my triceps. That's a big key right there. Flexing your triceps is important when you're doing the workout. Cause all day you can go like this, you see your triceps, but well, look at my hand. Look at my hand I had to do. If I go like this, I'm not getting much weight. Once I flex it all the way out, then I get a good contraction. Short head of the triceps. Four sets of 15. Um, keep your composure. You know, we're just trying to fire the muscles up. So we're not even trying to, you know, like get a pump in the muscles right now. We're just trying to work on contractions. Work on contractions because now you open up the fibers. You're allowing them fibers to rip. Um, so that's how you get growth and do more than just 8 to 10 reps do 12 15 reps and those muscles will get refueled that glycogen so right now we're doing alternating tricep flexes I mean not flexes but extensions so an, an important part when you're doing alternating tricep extensions with dumbbells the important factor is to keep that elbow erected not allowing it to die down and now your, your delts is, is trying to help you in that position so it's good to keep that tricep nice and erect and flex your arms out don't go too heavy just go for more reps and then you feel it don't go super heavy don't you don't need to it's not an ego lift all right so for all you ego lifters out there and now we're gonna move up into alternating bicep curls dumbbell bicep curls so everything is 10 right now 10 10 sets 10 reps I always try to turn that pinky towards the delts. So anytime you're coming up, you turn the hand in. Two, two. Try to bring the pinky to the delt. Three. Try your best to get that pinky to that delt. Six. 
<laughs> so right now this 40 is destroying me but because I'm doing it at 10 reps, I can, I can handle it. But I'm not doing 60, 70 pounds. Ain't no need to. Can I do skull crushes? Can I do a lot of weight? Yes, I can do a lot of weight. But it's, it's paying attention to how your muscle work. Not if you could just get the weight up. This is not powerlifting. All right, so now I'm going to go into the easy bar curl. Easy bar curl. Now I'm going to go heavy on it. Yeah, it's going to look kind of sloppy. But now I'm going to go heavy on that. I'm going to rip those out. And that's just to get a good, to, to rip the muscle up even more. You know, cause more trauma to the muscle. And that's the whole part of our growing. You gotta cause trauma at the trauma to allow it to grow, to expand. Because the more it can handle, the more bigger it gets. Remember that, guys. So, oh yeah. And then I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna do easy bar curls. And then I'm gonna go into uh, kickbacks. Kickbacks. Now, like I guess I'm, I'm gonna keep the 40s. I'm gonna do the 40. So, what I'm gonna do here first, I'm gonna go with the triceps first. Then I'm gonna go right into the biceps. So, we're doing 10 on each arm. It's funny how everybody crying to go back in the gym, but what they don't realize is that you can't go back in the gym and lift like as crazy like you can when you used to. But you know, you know what's a good, really good workout for this though is when you're doing uh, I call it ten up, ten down. So that means say, is you and a person, like for example, me and you, I'll go first, I'll bang out ten. And then I hand it to you, and you do one. Then you hand it back to me, I do nine. Then I hand it back to you, then you do two. And you go up, I go down. Let me tell you something. Your arms for days are gonna be like this. For days, natural pump. I'm telling you, it's called 10 up, 10 down. Get a shot. But I'm not doing that today. I'm bust out 10 right here. All right, 10 reps. The only time your grip start fading with curls, if, if the bar is big and you got small hands, like I got a pretty big hand, but and my hands is not the smoothest hands. You know, I don't have a baby hand, I don't have a soft hand. A lot of time I tell people to get chalk. And another thing too, don't lotion your hand before you come work out. Keep it dry, it helps with the grip. If you feel like your forearms is giving out when you're doing any kind of arm workout, you're squeezing too hard. Lighten up your squeeze. Also, you can add in some wrist wraps. Wrist wraps, you, wrap, you can wrap it around the dumbbell and you can go for days. You want to build your grip strength up. So, you know, don't, don't, don't get too used to those wrist straps. If you feel like your grip is going, put them in. But don't just put them in off the jump. Build up your grip strength. They didn't do those in a while. They didn't feel that bad. All right, guys, so I think I got enough pumps for the arms, but I'm gonna finish out with one exercise for the arm. But I'm gonna superset that with a shoulder. Upright rows. Now, upright rows is gonna be easy bar. Upright rows. Actually, I think I might do the straight bar. Yeah, I might do the straight bar. But then I'm also gonna do concentrated curls. So I'm gonna superset that, those two. Yeah, man, being in the competition, you see females with like bigger shoulders than you. It humbles you real fast. Humbles you real fast. Bigger quads than you too. Humbles you real fast. You know, when you get off into this world of fitness, you're gonna realize there's so many other things to it than just working out and doing videos. But it's a community. And being both of like bodybuilding and politics community, let me tell you something, it's a, I'm in a big community. I'm just trying to keep myself up on it. That's it, because I, I love both. And I'm also going to dive into CrossFit down the line. Secret. I just, I just, I just let that out. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, right? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I love when people don't think I'm crazy. My biggest uh, advice to you guys when you do upright rows is when you're coming up, you want to be able to squeeze up in the top and come down nice and slow with ease, okay? Ease yourself up into it. I'm clean by do frontal presses. I'm at the bar here. I'm gonna press up and come down. Up, come down. Very brutal on the delts. Very brutal on the arms. And if you guys incorporate these, you guys will realize after doing them for a while, you start to realize how effective they are because you ain't gonna find an easy work to do this with. Now, if you had the cable, you could also press it up and keep the tension, keeping all that tension on the delts. I'm come here. I'm gonna hit my rear. Okay, I'm in my rear. So, you work in rear down. So now I'm going back to the back. He's in that rear. The same thing as lateral raises, but it more so frontal, going front ways. 
it works the whole trap delts uh i want to tell people like you can do spider mans too it's so like this you come from back here mm. it's called around the world actually come here those are killers but me like i'm going for more of a lateral hip because i like my i like to feed my traps in it a lot if you don't like those you can do it around the world you can do those with a lot of ways so those are easier <laughs> <laughs> also, frontals, get the pump going. But for the most of all guys that was the workout uh, Remember drop a like share comment whatever. This is an arm and delt workout very efficient concise We got it done. I appreciate people out there who are putting the work in and not making no excuses for themselves Pick up yourself and stay tuned man. You know, we're gonna drop a lot more content we got a lot of things coming up So I just want to keep you guys rolling with these things and share more information and be more informative if I can and hopefully this help you guys. So remember, stay up, stay strong, stay positive, and stay corona free in this time. You heard me? Until next time, big up to Drizzy. We're here.